Good morning. Welcome to our morning talk. Today, we will look at a collection of interesting marine creatures that live on the patches of sand plains near the reef in the Wasini Channel. There's quite a lot to see if you know what to look for. Only the eyes of this flounder are visible, sticking out of the sand, while its body has been camouflaged by the sand. When the flounder moves over the seagrass, as in this rare picture, its camouflage no longer helps it hide from hungry predators. One of our Refolution board members found a guitar fish resting on the sand plains, raising its distinctive three dorsal fins defensively. If this type of ray kept its fins flat, it would be very difficult to spot despite its size. This fish with a long, flat snout and decorative eyelashes is called a crocodile fish, and it is usually found between the reef in patches of sand. The flying gurnard generally blends in very well with the sand, like a flounder or a crocodile fish. Only when it needs to scare a predator or rival will it unfold its large pectoral fins to show its bright blue spots like an impressive peacock. This brightly colored fish is pretending to look like a sponge and can be easily overlooked. Frogfish are very well camouflaged through their contortion into different shapes, features, and colors. Once spotted, they are very easy to get on camera as they don't tend to move much. This tiny, adorable creature is called a pipe horse. It pretends to be a stick with algae growing on it. Seahorses are a bit bigger than pipe horses, but they are still very difficult to see. They tend to curl themselves around something so that their body shape and color blend in with the environment. In this picture, the animal might be a bit more difficult to see, but you can just make out a little crab overgrown with green algae and moving sideways over the sand. This ghost pipefish has white spots that look like epiphytes, which adds to its already remarkably camouflaged body shape. The bright round spot on its left side reveals that this is actually a fish and not a bit of dead seagrass. Some animals, like this octopus, do not just hide, but can actually actively change their colors and camouflage pattern. They can blend in with any structure found on the reef or in the sand. This mantis shrimp hides in cavities or holes dug in the sand. They use these holes as a lair to hunt from. This jawfish burrows itself in a hole in the sand, allowing only its head to stick out. This individual has eggs in its mouth to protect the eggs from being eaten by other fish. Some animals live and camouflage on other organisms, like this crab who is catching a ride on a sea pen. If the sea pen senses danger, it will retract into the sand and it will take the crab with it. Sea snakes are found in seagrass, sand, and on the reef. On the reef and in seagrass, they can hide in cavities. In the sand, sea snakes can bury themselves to stay hidden. Thank you for listening to our morning talk. Have a great rest of your day.